Well, that is it. Just finished my seventh and final shift at the golf club. Whew. What a week it's been. So I actually ended up staying every single night this week in the van in this car park. I had three showers with my water bottle outside the van. I did go home a couple of times in between, but I soon realized that it's a lot easier to sleep here overnight and get up at quarter past four. I was setting my alarm for, because we had a half past four meeting every day, um, rather than having to get up an hour earlier than that at quarter past three every day if I stayed at home. So the days that I did go home, I had dinner at home and then I came back here in the evening, slept overnight and then, yeah. I'm a bit sad it's over though, because it's been really good fun, but I guess all good things must come to an end. I think I might hang around here for maybe an hour before I head back. We're actually stopping off at Barry and Cheryl's today for lunch, Becky's parents, and then we're going to spread the shingle out in the new pitch that we've got because that arrived on Tuesday, but I'm gonna meet them there and it's only quarter past 10 at the moment. So I think I might go and watch a little bit of the golf for an hour or two and then hit the road. Um, and yeah, back to reality, I suppose. Hello, 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 hello. Right, so we've got three ton bags of 20 millimeter shingle which we're going to spread out. We're not sure if we're going to have enough, but we'd rather have too little than too much because you've got too much, you've got to get rid of it or put it somewhere. So we don't know if maybe we're going to need a fourth bag, but I guess we'll just kind of spread it around and then see what happens. Go. I left my tripod at home, so I'm going to try and balance this on a bag of stones and hopefully it doesn't fall off. So we're about three quarters of the way through that first bag and we've done that much already. I think three bags is definitely going to be plenty. Well, I think, I think we'll use them. We could put a stone along there and then we could have like one, two, three, four, five. We have like six flower pots yeah. and on the flower pot we have one patio and it's like separated. Yeah, we could do. Yeah, I like that idea. Something like that. There we go, Joss. That's a good idea. That was a very good idea. Furniture, yeah. up here. Yeah. Do you have garden furniture? Yeah. Fire pit. Van there. Fire pit, that's a good idea. We can do cooking on the fire pit. Yeah, they sell charcoal. Yeah. We can have a fire pit. Yeah, because if we move all of this stuff like up there past this end bit, we this stuff. then we'll have this whole area here just for like usable space. Okay, stones are all leveled out. I think three bags was the perfect amount, to be honest with you. Um, if we had four bags, then we would pretty much have an entire bag left over, I think. This is where we're at the moment anyway, so nice and flat. This down here is the club hammer handle, and that's just marking where the soak away is, so I don't forget where it is. I think you'll agree, though, that it's starting to take shape. The only thing we really need to do now is sort the fence out at the end. Um, this post here needs to go because otherwise the house won't even fit. I'm not sure about this one. I don't know if that is going to be a problem or not. I suppose worst case scenario we can just cut it down with a saw because that was really, really solid in the ground. But once the house is in, we'll fence off all the way across there and then start thinking about putting a gate in over there. Becky wants to jet wash all of this. 
clean it up and then all of this stuff will kind of move along so we have this space here and yeah I think we're almost there So this, ladies and gentlemen, is a replacement lid for our food processor. This is the old one here, and I don't know how it happened, but the back of this broke off, and there's a very important pin that goes through a tiny hole in the bottom there, which you can just about see on this one here. And that is what clicks into the base piece and it's kind of like a safety catch so you can't spin the blade unless the lid's on so without that pin then the processor for this attachment anyway was just completely useless i think it cost 27 pounds which i don't know if that's expensive or not um but i needed to get a replacement because we're going to be selling our food processor because we don't really ever use it and you can see how much space this processor takes up. I mean, the additional attachments that are in this um, box, I don't think we've ever used them. I think we've used one, which is the grater for making like a coleslaw or something. We have used this for pressing fresh orange juice, used that maybe like four times, but other than that, haven't really used it all that much. Um, a lot of the other stuff, never used ever. I think that goes in there and you can make that for dough or something. We're not really too sure how much money to list it for. I think it was £250 new. So we're thinking that maybe we'll get £150 for it. Um, but we'll list it on Facebook or something and see if anybody is interested in buying it. Or So we got a text message at about eight o'clock last night from Chris, the guy who's going to be towing the house for us. And he basically said that he's going to be down south and available to tow the house for us this coming Sunday, which is only five days away. He did originally say end of September, and I think it's the 14th of September today. 15th of September so yeah it's a bit premature so we're kind of we're not quite in panic mode but we really need to get a move on with um, packing the house up and everything fortunately though he did say that we don't need to empty out the entire house it's more about things sliding around and getting damaged and breaking things that's the problem so he said the beds the sofa and any light things that aren't going to get damaged can stay in the house which to be honest makes a huge difference because it means that the only two things we really need to take out of the house is the fridge and the washing machine but everything else i think we could probably just pack up either put in the van anyway our van um or we can just leave it downstairs in the living space which is going to make such a huge difference to the move we originally thought we'd have to take everything out the house entirely um and load it up in a big van and do like a huge move but being able to leave loads of things in there is just going to make an enormous difference and also it means we don't have to hire such a big van either we could probably just get away with a small wheelbase van like this one but like a normal panel box van thing um so that's good news but i've got the garden box and everything that's in the garden box loaded up in the back of the van because I'm going to take it over there today. It's pretty much the only thing I can take over there 
that doesn't need to go in the house so I can do it before the move because obviously everything else has to be done on the day because we've got nowhere to put it. I've still got to take the hose and a few other things but I can just do that in the next run. But I'm going to get the garden box over there, um, put it back together again, put all the things back in it. Um, I think I brushed out most of the spiders and bugs although I'm sure there's going to be spiders and bugs running around the van. But it's all systems go. We're going to be moving in five days time which is a bit scary to be honest with you. I feel like I've got a lot to do, but I don't think it's gonna to be too bad. Okay, garden box is officially rebuilt again. Didn't really take too long to be honest, around about 10 minutes. You're probably wondering why I'm sweating though, and it's not because I've put the garden box up. I've just spent the last like 20 minutes digging the new hole for what is hopefully gonna be our kitchen waste soak away gone around about 500 deep there just gonna fill it with stones off of here I think we've got a few extras down there maybe scrape a bit back um, I just want to check this for level as well actually before we go too much further just to make sure because there's quite a lot of stones here to be honest I think we went maybe three or four inches deep in places so I'll probably lose some of that One down, one to go. We did it. Well, that was hard work. I'm absolutely dripping with sweat. <laughs> oh, I've just got to dig up this little bit here, just so it's like a bit flatter. I think we're pretty much ready. <sighs> oh, I need a drink as well. Every time I come here, the camera just gets so dirty. I think we're all good though. I've dug out that bit down there and also dug out that corner there. So there should be no problem at like reversing in like this. Cause I think it's probably gonna have to cut that corner off. Um, but yeah, access is now officially clear. You've got no idea how hard that was to get out. There was a massive ivy route there. Literally took me about 45 minutes to get that out. Still got a bit of work to do along there, but I'm not really too worried about that today. And then this fence will have to come out and we're going to put a gate there. So that's a job for another day as well. But with regards to just getting the house here set up and livable, I think we're pretty much good to go, to be honest with you. There's nothing else we really need to do. We do need to get the electric sorted out, but hopefully that's going to get done this week. If not, it's not the end of the world because we can run the house just off an extension lead. We'd have to be quite careful with what we're using, like we might not be able to use the oven for example because it would just keep tripping the system over and over again. Other than that we've got water, we've got waste points, um, yeah we've got everything we need really so we're ready for the house to arrive I guess. I'm going to end the video here because I think we're pretty much ready to go for the weekend and I'm not really going to be doing much for the rest of the week, just doing some cleaning, tidying, 
perhaps getting some things ready and bits and bobs like that. I do really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up you did. We we'll see you guys next time, probably for the move, I should think. Maybe I'll start the video on the Saturday when we're prepping for the move or something like that. But the next video is going to be the move to here anyway. Um, so make sure you come back for that. But until then, have a safe drive. Make sure you stay alive. Have a lovely day. Don't spill anything in the world, not even custard or rice pudding or anything like that. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.